So earlier in the week, I had a patient who came in, had a knee pain. Knee pain had been there for quite some time and, um, you know, examined her. And then I started telling her about things about up here, about core. And she's like backing me up going, wait, 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 my knee is the problem. And, you know, I told her, yeah, she had some spasm in some areas in her knee. Some area didn't have full range of motion. But really, her main issue was she had a disorganized core. And I can use the term disorganized core, or I can say um, you, you don't have an engaged core, and I'll use those sort of interchangeably. And really her issue, even though it presents as a knee problem, is really a core issue. And a core, having an organized core, um, a, neutral, a neutral spine, is really fundamental to all movements. So I thought I'd share with you um, what does that look like and sort of how do you get yourself into that position. So um, to have an organized core, you have to be in a good, good posture, right? So just to review, if you've never heard this before, your ear, your shoulder, your hip, your knee, and your ankle, they all need to line up. Okay, that's the first thing. And then the, another way you want to look at it is if I were to take my hand like this and I put it right, right here, right on the, you know, part of, part of your rib cage here, and keep it right here, and then I took my other hand and I put it right on my hip, you want these lines to be parallel. Now, if you tend to be one of these people who sort of, your shoulders are kind of rounded forward, you're gonna find that this is kind of dipping down. These are no longer parallel. Or if you tend to stand kind of like this, these aren't parallel either. So an organized core, an engaged core, has this neutral posture to it. So you might say, well, how do I get there? Well, let me show you a quick way to uh, try and get into that organized core position. So I want you to take your feet and I want them to be just shoulder width, shoulder width apart. And um, you're going you're gonna to try to impart some torque on your feet, which means your right foot's going to go clockwise and your left foot's going to go counterclockwise. And you're going to just try and squeeze your feet that way, but my feet aren't moving. But I'm, but I'm implying that torque down there. And you'll notice as soon as you do that, that your glutes back here start to fire. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Go ahead and squeeze your feet like you're trying to screw your feet into the ground and you'll feel your glutes fire. What that does, brings your pelvis back. Okay, so now I'm standing and I got this part of my core and your glutes are part of your core. Then you wanna um, engage your abs right here. Now, if you were to say, if I had to squeeze on something with my abs and 10 was the hardest I could squeeze and zero was not at all, you wanna squeeze with about a two. And a two um, puts your core engaged. And if someone were to come by and give you a belly whack or just give you a little punch in the stomach, that's how much uh, tension you wanna be applying to your, to, your, to your abs. So from this position, this is a fundamental position which all activities should come from, meaning I engage my core and I start to push. I engage my core and I start to squat. I engage my core and I start to walk or I start to run. Give it a try. If you have any questions, shoot me an email or come and see me at the clinic. Thanks.